Hey everybody, how's it going? Mike here from The Focus Garage. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about important quality of life modifications that you can be making to your vehicle, even if you're not a car enthusiast. So this goes out to anybody that owns a vehicle and drives a car, van, truck, SUV. These are gonna be simple things that you can do to your vehicle and add to your vehicle to improve just your quality of life with the car and just kind of increase that overall enjoyment and just comfort level of you know your everyday regular car. So it's a little bit different. You know, I know we do usually a lot of enthusiast focused content here, but in this video, I'm gonna be covering stuff for even the non-enthusiast. So let's start this one right off. The first thing I wanna talk about is all weather floor mats. Now I'm not talking about the ones that you go to Walmart and buy and they're just, you know, you kind of cut them with scissors and the rubber and you make them fit. No, 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 no. I'm talking about something like WeatherTech floor mats or Spider or anything along the lines of that. There's a few different companies that make laser fit floor mats for your car. And what they're gonna be doing is that they're all weather floor mats. So they'll have lift edges on the side and they'll use the factory retention points on your floor to kind of snap into place there. Now, if you live in any kind of area that gets snow and salt in the winter, these are a huge deal. If you live in any kind of area where it gets a lot of rain and it's muddy, these are a huge deal. The biggest reason with this is that they are super easy to clean. So whenever you're taking your car to get detailed or you're washing your car yourself, you can take these mats out of the car and just wash them with soap and water and let them air dry and they look as good as new. You don't have to worry about stuff getting ground into the carpeting of your car or the factory floor mats. These rubber laser lined mats are perfect for that cleaning aspect and keeping your car clean. So you don't have to feel bad if there's mud on your shoe and you step in your car because these mats will take care of it. If your shoes are wet, the stepped edges are gonna keep everything right in place. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. They even do sell trunk liners as well. So if you've got a hatchback or a sedan or a minivan, anything like that, they sell these same kind of liners for your trunk also. So you can get your whole car outfitted with these all weather floor mats, you know, front row, middle row, third row even, and then trunk. You can get it all taken care of with these easy to clean, easy to maintain all weather floor mat. Number two, the second thing I'm gonna be talking about in this video is a modern head unit or stereo, radio, whatever you may call it. If you have an older vehicle that didn't come with, you know, navigation or a factory screen or something like that, it's a worthwhile investment in yourself to go ahead and purchase something that's a little bit more modern that will work with your vehicle. The cool thing about this is that if you have any kind of vehicle that has come with a factory stereo, even if it's a little, you know, cassette player style stereo, you can usually get something for your car that will work. Now, the type of unit that I'm going to be covering here is usually a double DIN unit meaning that it takes up two spots, many factory radios do. But what I'm gonna recommend you look out for and get is something that has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now, what this means is that you can plug your phone in or even some do it wirelessly, and you can essentially have all the functionality of your cell phone directly in the car. Now, with this, you don't have to worry about buying an expensive head unit that uh, has GPS built in or has you know XYZ features built in because Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are gonna essentially mirror what your phone is doing. So all of your messaging, all of your map applications, whether you use Apple Maps, Google Maps, or Waze, just all of your music, your audio books, that all integrates seamlessly with your phone into the car and in through this screen here. So if you have any kind of car with an older stereo and you're looking to kind of update it, getting a modern head unit with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay is gonna be the move for making sure that you enjoy your day-to-day -day life in the vehicle. The next thing I wanna talk about is window tint. Now I know a lot of us enthusiasts do window tint on our cars kind of for the overall look aspect of it, but window tint serves a lot of other functions as well. If you go ahead and tint the windows on your vehicle, you're gonna be protecting the interior of your car. And what I mean by that is that the sun rays have harmful UV rays, everybody knows that, and this can be damaging to the interior surfaces of your car. If you've got a car with a leather interior, it can dry out the seats and crack the seats. This can fade the colors of stuff in your interior, can crack the dashboard, et cetera, et cetera. Also, what window tint is gonna do is it's going to keep your car cooler from the sun. So a lot of these higher end window tints or even regular window tint nowadays has different percentages of UV blocking capabilities in it. So if you go for a nice tint, it'll actually serve function of keeping UV rays out of the car, keeping the sun and heat out of the car. Another nice aspect of window tint is the privacy aspect of it. 
If you get your windows tinted, it is going to keep everything inside your car harder to see. What this means is if you so happen to forget and leave something out in the car that might be easily stolen or entice a thief to want to break into your car, they may walk past your car and not even notice it now because you've got window tint making it harder to see into your car. Now, I'm not saying everybody runs out and goes and puts limo tint on their car. That is not a great idea because limo tint is dark and it is illegal. So check with your local laws and limitations to see what you can run as far as window tint. Every state is gonna be a little bit different. I know here in Illinois, we are allowed to run 35% tint. And what that means is that we can run tint that allows 35% of light into the car. With window tint, the lower the number, the darker the tint. A common misconception is that the higher the number, the darker the tint, but it's not. The lower the number, the darker the tint. So for example, if you run 5% tint, that means 5% of light is going to pass from the outside of the window through to the inside. So what that's going to mean is that it's going to be very, very dark in the car during the daytime, and it's going to be almost pitch black in the car at night. If you're going for something that's stylish and looks good, I'd say maybe do you know around 20%, uh, but if you're looking to stay legal, probably 35 to 40%, you'll still get that added benefit of the UV protection, but it'll also kind of darken things up a little bit and keep things comfortable for you. Another thing that I want to cover that kind of ties back into just a point I made a few moments ago is upgrading the speakers in your car. Many cars, especially older cars, come with very, very cheap stereos from the factory, and this just results in poor music and sound quality. I'm not saying you even have to do this yourself. You can go ahead and pay a smaller stereo shop to do this, or even Best Buy offers installations like this, of upgrading your speakers. Just by upgrading to something like a Kenwood or Alpine speaker is usually gonna be better than what you'd find from the factory in most regular cars. This will allow you to listen to everything that you do in your car, whether it's music or podcast, much more clearly and just make the experience much more enjoyable for you as a whole. Some other little quality of life honorable mentions that I wanna speak of with your car is if you've got a car with hubcaps, to go ahead and replace those damaged or missing or mismatched hubcaps with a set of fresh hubcaps. You can find those at Walmart, you can find them online, and it's usually relatively affordable, anywhere from like 20 to $60. And that's another thing that can really improve the appearance of a car. If you've got a car that runs hubcaps from the factory and you're missing some, and you've kind of got this steely looking appearance, you can fix this easily. A lot of people don't know that. They think they have to you know, continually miss your hubcap or run cracked hubcaps or whatever. You can go ahead and pick up a set of four matching brand new hubcaps and they just snap onto your wheel. So what you do is you just take them and you snap them on there and that's good to go and you're good to roll and you've got a car that you know improved the look of it there. I also recommend that if you have a car that you drive every day, that you look into getting it detailed or cleaned every so often. I'm not saying you buy you know one of those monthly subscription car wash packages because it just isn't realistic for everybody to run to the car wash every single week or something like that. But maybe two or three times a year, especially once the winter is done, Get your car professionally cleaned or just spend a few hours or a day cleaning it yourself to really get the winter grime and salt and everything off of the car and out of the car. This does a great job at kind of increasing the longevity of your car. The road salts that they use are extremely corrosive. So if you let that sit on everything underneath the car and you let that sit on the paint, you're going to be damaging the clear coat. You're going to be introducing contaminants and stuff like that. And you just don't want that on your paint. So spend a little bit of time, spend a little bit of money and get that car cleaned up a few times a year. Yes, obviously I'm a huge advocate for, you know, detailing your car all the time, making sure it's ceramic coated, blah, 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 blah. But that's not going to be as common for people that just use their car more so as an appliance, as a way to commute. And that's going to wrap this video up as far as the main things that I could recommend to put on your car or do to your car to kind of improve your overall quality of life with that car and just increase the longevity of that car. Now, obviously I can go down a whole rabbit hole here of making sure that you know you do your regular maintenance like your oil changes and all that stuff, but this isn't a maintenance video. This is more for kind of things you can do to your car or buy for your car to increase your enjoyment of that car. So just the main takeaways again, it's gonna be a modern stereo with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. You're gonna get your all weather floor mats there. And you're just gonna make sure that you kind of take care in the upkeep and the appearance of the car, just kind of make it more enjoyable like that. Oh, and don't forget the window tint, duh. If there's anything large or major that you feel that I missed in this video, go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your input on this. Uh, this is just something that I've kind of had kicking around in my head for a little bit here. This video idea was actually suggested to me by a friend who I would definitely say is not a car enthusiast by the book, but he does enjoy driving his car and spending time in his car. So a lot of these modifications, modifications as you would call it, 
have been suggested or performed by him on his car. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.